Hello friends, HackerRank's uh, Linklist module uh, has already been discussed uh, in the previous lectures and uh, we are now solving the ninth question in the list. This is the Merge to Sorted Linklist. So the meaning of the Merge to Sorted Linklist is that we have been given two so uh, sorted linklists. For example, one of the list is 1378 and the second linklist is let's say 4, 5, 6. Now, uh, these two link lists, let's say the second link list contains one more element that is 3. So these two uh, link lists can be merged together to form a single link list. So we will be using the two pointer concept for doing so. Let's say P is pointing at the first node in the first link, link list and Q is pointing to the first node in the second link list. We are assuming that we have a third link list also. Let's say the third link list is represented by list 3 or head 3, whatever you say. Now, you will start comparing the elements of first link list and second link list with the help of the P and the Q. Whichever element is smaller will be added in the third link list. So we say that the first link list element 1 is smaller. So I am incrementing this P to point to the next node. And then again we are going to compare this these two. And here we can say that we can see that P is not less than Q. So the element from the second link list will be added here. So I'm going to insert the node at the end of the third link list. Since the element has been taken from the second link list, I'm going to increment this Q. So increment means we are pointing to the next node, not the actual increment. Now P and Q are getting compared, means 3 and 4 are getting compared. 3 is smaller than 4, so element 3 will be added from the first link list. And this has been added in the at the end of the third link list. Now, P and Q are getting compared. These are 4 and 7. 4 is smaller. So element from the second link list will be added in the third link list in the end. And Q will be pointing to the next node in the second link list. Now P and Q are getting compared. It means 5 and 7 are getting compared. 5 is smaller. So 5 will be added at the end of the third link list. And Q will be pointing to 6 now. Now say 7 and 6 are getting compared. And 6 is smaller than 7. So 6 is the element that will be added in the final link list. And Q will be pointing to the next node. By this, Q becomes null. The moment Q becomes null, the comparisons will not be possible between the two link lists. Which means we will stop our process. And whichever nodes are remaining in the first link list, they will be added one by one in the final link list. So this will be Something like one will be the comparison loop wherein the elements of uh, the P and Q will be getting compared. If any of the link list has finished, it means if any of the link list does not have the node, then the remaining nodes of the link list will be added in the final link list. So this will be the comparison loop. And after this, if the first link list remains with some of the nodes, those will be added as the last node in the third link list. And then if the second link list also has some nodes remaining, in that case, the nodes of the second link list will be added one by one in the final link list, that is list 3. So if I'm naming these loops, let's say 1, 2 and 3. So first one is a comparison loop that is compulsorily will run. In this case, you have seen that the queue has become null. So let's say the third list is for adding the nodes from the, sec from the second link list. So if second link list is null, the third loop will not run, that is for adding of the nodes from the second link list to the final link list, but the second loop will run. If the first link list has finished and second has not, in that case, the second will not run and the third will run. So now let's try to write this algorithm. So I have already written this code. I'll just try to make you understand. So merge list uh, is the code which have, we have to write or the function which has been given in which I have to write the code. Head 1 and head 2 are given. From our side, I have taken this P and Q. I'm taking a head 3 also, which is the third link list when the elements are to be added. So now this is the comparison loop. The first loop, which is the comparison loop. If P is not null and Q is not null, I will be adding the nodes in the third link list. If P dot data is smaller than the Q dot data, the link list, the node will come from the first link list. So in the head three, I am going to add the data of the first node or the data of the P node at the end. So there is a function which is insert end function, which will be inserting the data of P node at the end of the link list three. 
and after this it will be incrementing this pointer to point to the next node now in case p is not smaller than the q's data in that case the element will come from the second linked list it means the q dot data will be added in the final linked list 3 and q will be pointing to the next node after this so if we have the nodes to compare this loop will run if there if any of the two linked list has finished then let's say if the first linked list has finished then all the remaining nodes of the first linked list will be added in the final linked list Similarly, if first node has not finished, uh, first node has finished and second linked list has nodes, all the nodes of the second linked list will be added in the final linked list at the end. These two loops, either of these two will loop, uh, these two loops will run. The example that we took uh, in that Q has become null. So the entry condition of this loop is it fails. In that case, only the first loop will run. It means this one. So either this loop will run or this loop will run. Finally, we will return the head three. So we have used the function insert end, which is not defined here in this uh, function. So we will have to define that as well. So for insertion of a node towards the end of the linked list, you first need to allocate the memory for that, set the data of that node as data, and set the next field of that as null. Since this is going to be the last node, the next field of this node is going to be null. If Q is not null, it means if the head is not null, then you will be traversing to reach to the last node for insertion of the node. Once you reach to the last node, you insert the allocate uh, the new node after the last node. So Q dot next equals to P. If head is null, it means the newly created node will become the head node. Finally, you will return this head. So we already have written this code for insert and in our second program in the hacker angling this module. So this is this should not be a problem for you. Let's try to run this code. You can see that the sample test cases have got passed. Let's submit this. All other test cases have also got passed. So thanks for watching this video.